Guys, we're graduating this year. I know. Kelso, we never thought you'd make it here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know it. Neither did my dad. The joke's on you guys. I don't have a father! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Fathers, are these real anymore? Like, what? Who needs a dad? You swag, am I right? Am I right? In my country, we have dads who don't leave. Well, my country, we kick foreign glutes. <laughs> I know! Oh, my sleeve! My eye! Guys, cut it out. We, we need to do something that, that just cements our legacy. Hi, do you get, ever get tired of being a delinquent? Not in the slightest. I got it! So that was a bad idea. <laughs> really? When did you realize that? Before or after Hyde got arrested? Hey, 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 it was you and Jackie that motioned to leave. Wait, where's Fez and Kelso? They fell off and went to the hospital. Don't you remember anything, <laughs> Foreman? No, I must have forgotten. When the police showed up! Hey, don't blame Eric. It was your stupid boyfriend who fell off. Well, your boyfriend is dumb as a rock. That's your boyfriend. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. It's go time. Bring it, Shorty. <laughs> now, children, what have we learned today in class? Donna, I'm sorry I called your boyfriend dumb as a rock. And I'm sorry yours is. Who's dumb as a rock? <sighs> no one, Michael. You are, idiot. Yeah. Oh. Where's Hyde? The police. They got him. Oh. Are we going to get him? Do you have any money? No, I I spent it all on candy. No, Fez. I spent all of it on the hospital bill. Remember when you tried to pay Donna's boobs? Well. Jackie, can we use your money? No! <laughs> well, what do we do? I got it! We'll make a lemonade stand! Do you want me to buy you a Girl Scout uniform to go with that lemonade stand? Boom! <laughs> you got a better idea? Matter of fact, I do! This was your great idea. It was better than the ideas any of you bozos had. You know, I had a pretty good one. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, I did. You actually had an idea? Me? Where's the pizza? You have ideas? Well, no. <laughs> so, how does this hotline thing work again? It's simple. We wait for people to call for advice and then we get paid. Donna, have you actually ever run a hotline before? <laughs> have you ever done anything that requires more than three minutes of physical labor? <laughs> touche, touche. So when do people start calling? They'll start calling at any time. People are calling. It's only been an hour, give it time. If you say one more negative thing, I'm going to pluck every hair from that eyebrow thing you got going on. I thought that you should put them on! I knew they were forbidden! Boy, am I glad you guys told her that. I don't have to break the brow to <laughs> You know, that joke was so stupid. <laughs> it was actually funny. <laughs> Thanks. Sometimes I'm thinking just, call me gold. Yeah, so. If that was comedy, it came from your ear. <laughs> okay, Fez. You think you're so funny. Why don't you tell me a joke? Okay. Your dad. <laughs> Shut up, Fez. So stupid. I think I got it. The dicks. The dicks. Okay, so, like, just one call? Because, I mean, that's kind of risky. What if no one answers just one call? You'll be fine. <laughs> Alright. Better switch. It, it's raining! Oh my god, it's raining!
so the prophecy has been fulfilled. I knew this day would come. Donna, what are you doing? Answer the phone! started this whole thing in the first place. We need enough cash to get Hyde out of jail. He's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your hideously white skin. Let it go. Hey, baby. Where'd you get that mask? Oh, it's a wrestling convention downtown. My daddy's giving me these for free. That's it? What? We'll go to the wrestling convention and we'll sell lemonade. I'm still on this lemonade thing. Just listen to me. So here's what we'll do. People will be dressed their favorite wrestlers at that wrestling convention, right? They'll be really thirsty in all those clothes. They'll be parched balls. So here's what I'm thinking. We'll go to the wrestling convention and we'll sell lemonade at ridiculously high prices. They'll be thirsty, they'll buy it for like $15. We'll have enough money by the end of the day and we'll get high out of jail just in time for graduation. What do you think? Oh my god, Kenso, you actually had a good idea! Thanks, Dad. That might actually work, but I... I don't know. What choice do we have? Graduation's in two days! No. I, I guess it'll have to do. Balls, yeah. Oh, oh, that hedgehog. Hi, my name is Tyler Harris. I play Michael Kelso on that 70s show. Oh, oh, oh. oh, hello there, I didn't notice you. My name's Ethan. I played the character of Eric Foreman. Sir Eric Foreman the Eighth, to be exact. Hey! Hey! Oh, sorry, I didn't quite see you there. <laughs> no, we're starting. <laughs> well, I'm Amber, and I play the role of Donna in that 70s show. Uh, hello! My name is Nina, and I play Dusty Bogart. <laughs> My name is Dylan Pulse, and I played Hyde in uh, that 70s show. It was pretty fun. He's a not so down to earth guy. Is very conceited. And Donna looks like that. Just like I am. Only better. Uh, one scene I played, and I think tops of like two to three lines I performed to uh, the, the lowest degree of performing. No one answers just one call. You'll be fine. <sighs> Alright. It was very funny. It was very fun indeed. <laughs> Shut up, Fez. She was a pretty fun character. She was Eric's girlfriend, you know. She was just. Pretty average. She was really sarcastic and sassy, especially towards Jackie. You say one more negative thing, I'm going to pluck every hair from that eyebrow thing you got going on. I thought that means you blew them all! I knew I overpaid! They didn't offer to pay me. They didn't offer free food or snacks. Heck, they barely remembered my name. But that's okay, because I had Loki. Okay. Boil well with what and see where he sucks. <laughs> It's like the wheels off. I'm wearing a mask to cover this awful unibrow that Lumberjack told me. Oh, I'll give you a real reason to hide your face. People ask me, Dylan, what was the best part? And you know what I tell them? Oh my sleeve. My eye! Guys! Cut it out. Tell them freaking Loki. That's the best part. I mean, she's not really wheels off because she's wet and spoiled and stuff. <laughs> I'm sure you're wondering where the end of the video is. That sucks. Well, that's too bad. Well, you see, yeah, it's not gonna happen. We didn't get around to it. Just gonna have to deal with what you got. So, you're just gonna deal with what we got. But yeah, that's about it. So, uh... We couldn't write get around to it, so you're gonna have to make do with what we do. Uncle Loki! 